Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a quick tip on how to create something like this uh, where you have a frame and then you have a tape on it and it gives an illusion that you have taped this to a wall or something. So let's just get started. Go to file and new. You can choose any file size depending on your project but for this I'm just going to keep it 5 into 8 inches CMYK mode and 300 ppi. Let's click create. First, we're going to start making our frame. For that, go to your rectangle tool. If you cannot see rectangle here, right click and then select the rectangle tool and just make a random rectangle. We're going to fill this color with some color that you have. Make sure the fill is chosen and next click on the stroke and click none. We don't want stroke on this. Now you have to make one more rectangle. I'm going to copy this, control C. I'm going to paste control F right on top. Now I'll go back to this corner, hold my shift key down, hold my option key down, click and drag inside so that it forms a smaller rectangle. And now I'm going to color it something like white, but make sure your fill is selected. If you don't want to do this, you can actually go back to your rectangle tool and draw one more rectangle. It's fine too. I need to adjust this a little bit because it's too thick of a frame. So you can go back to your selection tool or press V on your keyboard. And then let's just increase this a bit, both sides. I think it's fine, but I'm going to select everything, click and drag to select everything. Now I'll make sure it's centered. So you can go to window and then align and then click on horizontal center and vertical center. And now everything is neatly arranged. Next, we're going to design the tape. Go back to your rectangle tool again, click, and make a tape. It's okay if it's bigger in size right now, you can change it later on. Now let's give it some color so that it's easy to recognize. I'm just gonna go ahead and select a pink. I will leave the color below in the description box. Go ahead and pick it up from there. Okay, now we have to make some ragged edges. Go to your pencil tool. If you cannot see it, right click and pencil tool. And you should make sure that this rectangle is selected. If I scroll in, you can see there are two points here, this one and this one. You have to start from this point and try and make some zigzag. Go back to your selection tool, click outside, your tape is ready. I'm just gonna bring it here. It's too big right now. Hold the shift key down, click and drag to make it smaller. Let's just place it somewhere here. If you move to the corner, you can see a slight rotate tool come up. So just to rotate it a little bit. Here yeah, that's too much, a little bit. Should be fine. Okay, the tape is ready, but it does not look like it's taped on to the frame. So just click on that and we're gonna change the transparency. So go to window, transparency, and a window pops up in opacity, lower it to about 70% or 79, this seems fine. Now, the final touch. You can leave it at this and this should look fine, but I would like to add a little bit of glow to this frame right here. So you can go to Effect, Stylize, Outer Glow, and make sure you click on Preview. And I've set it to Overlay 75% and Blur is 0 0.05 and the color over here is black. And click OK. Now you click Outside and there you go. You have a frame with a really nice tape stuck to it. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I really hope you liked it. And if you did, just give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and everything that you need to do around here on YouTube. If you want me to make such mini tutorials, do let me know. And I think I might start a series on that. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.